Hello, this is Mr. O. Today I am going to uh, do quick reviews, very quick reviews, of the next Wimpy Kid books. We've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So, here we go. This is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, book two, which is known as Roderick Rules. Now, you can see that it looks like I've taken out the Chinese version from the library, and I have, but in fact, it has the English at the back. I think these are really good because even in the English version, it gives you little bits of help with some of the words that you might not know. I didn't really like this one. I think if you've watched my bullying video, you will know that I think in this book, Greg is a bit of a a bully and really not a very nice person um, so I really uh, yeah I wasn't keen on this book um, my favorite part though is probably right near the start where Greg <laughs> decides that he he doesn't want to go swimming so he hides in the toilets but he gets too cold so he wraps himself in toilet paper this is wimpy kid book three a little bit different it's got the English at the front and the Chinese at the back um, this is known as The Last Straw. Uh, Greg owes a lot of money um, to Rowley's dad, strangely enough. And he has to try and figure out a way to pay it back. My favourite parts of this book are the fact that um, Greg starts to really sleep a lot. If you've got any teenage brothers or sisters, you will recognize this or you might anyway there's a part where he falls asleep in his class and he wakes up suddenly and says what's that i think that's pretty funny um there's another part where he falls asleep in another class and the teacher tells him to go to the front but even at the front of the class he still just falls asleep um and then the next class starts he doesn't realize and he wakes up suddenly and goes <laughs> like that when he wakes up i think that's pretty funny um the last bit that's kind of funny is uh, they have a school dance but nobody wants to dance and it um it shows you greg's dance move step pause step pause it's very much like my dancing anyway i like this better than book two this is book number four um, this is called Dog Days. This only takes place over summer, so it runs um, just from June until August, as you can see. My favourite part is um, he, he gets this massage chair and he really likes sitting in it. Um, and then he says... Um, the, the only reason I'd ever need to get up is to go to the bathroom. And then he says that maybe they should introduce that feature. <laughs> and it's got him sitting in his chair going to the toilet. That is very gross. That's very, very gross. Um, this book is pretty good, but um, it's got this dog in it, which I wasn't crazy about. Um, but it's okay. Not too bad. The next book is called The Ugly Truth. I really, really liked this book. This one... Again, we see Greg being horrible to Rowley. And um, eventually he decides that he needs a new best friend. So he, he's thinking about different people. And one of the people he thinks about is Tyson. <laughs> but he says that he, the only problem with Tyson is that he pulls his trousers down all the way when he goes to the toilet. <laughs> he just thinks that's too weird. Oh dear. Sorry, I always find the toilet jokes funniest. Um, I really like this one. I think it's it's really good, um, really interesting, and and, and it um, develops Greg's character quite a lot, especially his relationship with Rowley. So that's the last straw. There's my cat. Okay. Um, this is the next book. This is uh, book six. This is called Cabin Fever. And in this book, um, it takes place in the winter months. Um, as you can see, it starts in November. And basically, the very, there's a very big um, snowfall. And they kind of get stuck inside 
um, their home. Um, yeah, I thought this one was okay. Not too bad. Um, it's another one where Greg is back friends with Rowley again, which is good. Some funny jokes. Um, I quite like some of the movies and video games and things that um, Greg wants to play. And sometimes he borrows them from his brother. After that, we've got Diary of the Wimpy Kid, the third wheel. As you can see, he's holding some Valentine chocolates and, and roses. So this is where they're, he's, try, he's preparing for the, the Valentine's dance. And he keeps um, trying to get a date for the dance, but um, seems not to be working very well. This is the book that has the first introduction of Ruby Bird. Um, she comes in in a later book as well. And instead of writing down the person that he wants to be with, he just writes, please do not put me with Ruby Bird <laughs> to be the date. So, yeah. Kind of funny. Um, there's a bit of a surprise at the end. I'm not exactly going to tell you what it is because that would be a spoiler, but that is the third wheel. And number eight is this one, which is Hard Luck. Um, again, Greg is fighting with Rowley, so he spends a lot of the time with other people. In this book, he um, finds a magic eight ball, which is a toy where you shake it and then you look at the and you ask a question and you look at the bottom and it tells you an answer. So without a doubt means yes. Concentrate and ask again means try again and then no. And he takes it really seriously. Um, which is pretty funny, but eventually he realizes that it doesn't really work. If I had to put them in order of which ones I liked, I would probably say that my favorite two are these two, um, The Ugly Truth and Cabin Fever, five and six. My least favorite one is Roderick Rules. How about you? Which one do you like? Which one is your favorite if you've read them? The last thing that I want to show you is this. It's called the Wimpy Kid um, Do It Yourself book. Here it is. Um, I got this at the Hong Kong Book Fair. So it, it starts off with lots of little questions about you and things for you to do. Draw your family tree, give some advice, some choices, um, a way to make your own comics. You can even make your own um, Ugly Eugene and Zooey Mama comics. What does your brain look like? So it's got all these questions and there's there's lots of them, which is, which is really nice. Um, and then at the back, it's got some space where you can write your own diary of a something kid um, graphic novel. So what would you be? Would you be a wimpy kid or a cool kid or something like that? A part of this that I really like is that there are color comic books um, in the middle. And some of them are really, really funny. Trevor the Talking Sideburn. That's crazy. Um, Girls Rule. I think this is a very, very funny comic. Jerome, the man with incredibly red lips. My cat has gone. Which is good. Um, the saddest part is, strangely, there's a really sad bit, is... Um, Rowley writes his own diary, diary of an awesome friendly kid, so you can see he's more positive. And he tells everything to, he, he gives the same kind of stories that Greg writes about, but from his, Rowley's point of view. And, and he can see that, um, you can see that Rowley doesn't mean to be so silly. He, he's just trying to be nice. You can also see that Rowley's much more attractive in this in his own comics for example he gets a 
he gets this um, pendant for Greg, best friends. So they wear half each. And it says, it turns out Greg doesn't really like jewellery, but I'm still going to wear my half. And Greg says, that's with girls. So you can see this is a really good example of um, him being cruel to Rowley, but Rowley sort of doesn't mind. So that's, it's, it's kind of short, but it's, it's sweet and it's funny. And it's nice to look inside um, Rowley's head. This is definitely another one of my favourites. Of course, you don't need to buy this book to make your own diary. You can just get a few scraps of paper or, or, or your own book. Um, it's a nice thing to do, um, to think about what you've done during the day. And when you get older, like me, then you can look back and think about what you were like when you were young.